In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with SciSpace. Suppose you have downloaded SciSpace. Let's go to the folder and start a SciSpace from here. Start SciSpace. So SciSpace comes with an uh, example data set called the Terrorism Research. And the, the year is uh, between 1990 and 2003. So this comes as a part of the size space package to file. So uh, first, we don't have to change anything here. This is a, a cited reference has no type. So we're going to generate a document co-citation network. So click on the go button. This is a layout process. Okay, SciSpace is configured what it look, uh, look like. So this is a network of co-cited references. Each node is a cited reference. So for example, if you click on here, you'll see this is a document collected, uh, cited 19 times in this data set. It's published in 1998, it's called the Inside Terrorism. There are several controls. Uh, let me show you uh, some of the controls here. On the uh, panel control panel, you have uh, sliders. You can control the size of it. You can also change the, the font size so that we can see uh, which ones are the most highly cited. You can use the cursor, uh, you can use the arrow keys to control nice more accurately. So for, uh, for nodes like this with a purple ring outside, they indicate these are these are the nodes with high between the centrality. So in other words, uh, they have uh, uh, strategic positions in the network. They tend to be uh, important in terms of how they connect network together. Now let's look at the citation first. Click on it, we'll see uh, uh, some of the nodes have red rings. These are citation burst. Let's pick one of them. Uh, right click on it. So citation history. This will show uh, the, the thick part is really the, the duration of this burst. In other words, the citation burst is a sudden surge of citations for this particular article. So uh, you can save this to a file. You can look for the detail which one actually cited this article. Another thing we can do here is to uh, generate clusters. So click on here, find the clusters. Now we have uh, 37 clusters. So the colors of uh, nodes are representing the clusters. Now we're going to add labels, automatically label these clusters. Now T stands for title words. So we're going to be using words extracted from titles of papers citing a cluster to represent a cluster. So uh, the titles are available. Using control panel, we can increase the size of uh, clusters titles. Um, I'm going to hide individual papers. We can also change the, the size of the font size so that the bigger clusters have a, will have a bigger label. And we're, if we're not going to show all the clusters, we can just highlight on the important ones. So generally speaking, now we understand the literature about this topic can be divided into several subtopics. The cluster zero 
is labeled as biological terrorism. The first uh, cluster one, which is the second largest cluster, is the post-traumatic stress disorder. Third one is uh, originated from uh, earlier terrorism, uh, terrorist event. So this is uh, one view about this literature. Uh, we can control, uh, we, can, we can select other ways to indicate the boundaries of clusters. This is the boundary only. We can turn off the boundaries altogether. We can also we can also turn back this uh, to original. There are several options here on the top. Uh, first of all, this is uh, Web of Science time cited. The size of nodes. Let's uh, make us some adjustment here. This is the size of a node represent the number of times cited in Web of Science. It's just called also called a global citation count as opposed to the local citation counts within the data set. So you will see naturally some uh, large circles indicate uh, papers that has and uh, that have been highly cited overall in the web of science. So once we have the citation burst, we can generate another view from view citation burst history. So this is the uh, references. Uh, there are 15 references that have citation burst. Now let's change that to 15. So this is a very simple view about, uh, this is a list of references that have the citation burst. We can sort it in different orders. Uh, so in terms of the beginning of their uh, period of burst. So in this way, the first one starts to burst from 1996 and finish the burst 1999. And more recently, uh, based on the data set, uh, towards the end of data sets, the last burst is uh, from 2001 and up to 2003. So that's the whole data set. Now we have the clusters. Now there's several ways that we can explore it. First of one, let's look at the summary, a summary table of that uh, these clusters. <clears throat> so the 13 clusters all together, uh, the size, uh, the first one contains about 65, 37, 36, 26, and so on. The column here, uh, silhouette values indicate uh, the quality of each cluster in terms of how similar they are within cluster. So the value, if it's closer to one, uh, that means very good. If it's uh, uh, close to zero, that is not really reliable. The mean or the average years of publication in that cluster indicate the age of the cluster. So this is 1996 for the first one, 1995 for the second one, and so on. The three columns followed uh, with the labels, alternative labels. The first one is labels generated by TF, by IDF. Second one by log likelihood ratio test. Third one is by mutual information. Usually it's useful to look at all three types of labels to get a more comprehensive idea what is a cluster about. Another way to explore clusters is using Cluster Explorer. So Cluster Explorer provides you an interface like this. You can click, select the first cluster. This The top window shows citing articles, uh, which is the one that their behavior generated a cluster. The window Beneath that is called uh, cited references. So these are the numbers, actually the nodes shown in the cluster. They uh, they represent the 
cited references uh, that influence the citing articles. The terms are highlighted in yellow, they are selected as the label for the cluster. So, which is why uh, biological terrorism is chosen as the label for the first cluster. We can select, uh, deselect the first and select the second one. The second one uh, highlighted the word September, September 11. So we know that uh, this is a cluster about September 11. Similarly, you can select all the other clusters. You can also select the multiple clusters at the same time. So on the left-hand side, you can select or deselect uh, a node in the, in the list, uh, which also corresponds to the picture on the right. You can save a picture in an image file. You can, you can try other controls as well. So basically, this is how you get started with SciSpace. Uh, there's lots of controls on the right-hand side with the control panel. Uh, basically, you can use all this combination of sliders and control the transparencies and so on to get a, a good view about uh, the data set. Thank you.